Hey guys, Crystal here with Sea Candles and Soaps. And we are here with a hot process soap today. Uh, don't mind my kids if you hear them be loud. They're cooking them some lunch. Um, my son's learning how to cook eggs and he's doing a really good job of it. So in my, in my, yeah, supervised cooking eggs. So in my, uh, my hot, uh, gosh, I can't talk. In my container here, in my hot process, I got my oatmeal and my kaolin clay. And this is going to be a goat milk soap. So if you guys have uh, watched my other hot process videos, um, aloe and goat's milk and coconut milk makes the batter separate. And then we got to use our stick blender to bring it back together. So I'm not going to put the goat's milk in just yet. I'm going to go ahead and put our hot lye in. And what I like to do is um, light the lye to grab a hold of our oils. And you know what? I forgot my sodium lactate, so let me put that in. Um, it likes to uh, grab a hold of the oils, and um, and it does it first, and then we add. There's three, four, and five. Uh, and then we add the goat's milk afterwards, uh, after it sets for a minute, so um, the oh, goat's yay. milk doesn't get eat on by the lot as much. Move so... Alright. Hey, Lisa, will you rinse this out and give me some hot water for my stick blender? just a minute and then we're going to throw our goat's milk in. Will you get me the goat's milk please? Where's that? It's in there. In there. In there. So that is good and traced. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to let it come to uh, the applesauce stage or anything like that. I'm just going to let it, um, let it set for just a minute. And then in here we got our goat's milk and our cream. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put our goat's milk in. And remember, this is going to separate after when it starts to cook. already but I still need to stick one. my milk. I had it pretty hot in the microwave. Alright, so we're 
we're going to let that cook for about five minutes and then we'll bring you back with the stick blender so stay tuned we're back and it's fully separated now we need to take our stick blender and bring it back to soap so this is pretty much like stick hot a hot process stick blender hot process it will come back together if I don't make a mess Seems like I'm making a mess today. As you can see, it's starting to come back together. There's still some oils on top, but we're going to take care of that. This is a true faith of your stick blender, guys. you got to have a strong stick blender to do this. together really nice I about don't see any oils this will be a good breakfast mother all right now we need to start here but it needs to be stick blended again here in just a second but we need to stir it down so it don't a volcano up and out of our crock pot it's almost came all the way together, but we still, it's still, see how see how runny it is? We need to get it to a thicker consistency, which stick blending will do that. So anytime you use goat's milk, coconut milk, or a lot of aloe, you want to get separation. And you'll have to use your stick blender to bring it back together. Get thicker. My arms are getting tired.
volcano again. We're going to let it do its thing for just a second. We don't want it to bubble up out of our pot. But we do want it to thicken up. Alright. See how much thicker it is now? See that? That's what we want. We want it to thicken up. And I need a longer spatula. Keep stirring. So this is basically hot stick blender hot process. Because you gotta use your stick blender a whole lot to bring it back. Ooh, that's hot. So we're just gonna sit here and stir it till it gets thicker. It might volcano again, it might not. But I'm not going to use my stick blender again. My stick blender is really hot and I don't want to break it. So we're just, from here on out, we're just going to stir. Oh, and the soap we're doing today is teak wood and cardamom. It's a unisex scent. It's very popular with our women and with our men. Um, I have just as many women that like it that I do customers of men. So, awesome. Look how thick Give that me. is. That is good. There's another one in there. That is your second one. You don't need any more. Hey, Alyssa, will you find me a longer uh, spatula? Like one of my other ones over there? Yeah, that's fine. We need a longer spatula, definitely. This one's short. Alright, there we go. Look how beautiful that is. Nice and thick. It's creamy because of the aloe. And it's got all that goodness in there. And the more we stir, the thicker it becomes. We want it to be thick though. It's not going to volcano anymore. And it's starting to become glassy. That means it's almost done. Alright guys, so we're going to put our super fats in. And I'm super fatting with shea butter, um, cocoa butter, um, olive oil, and I'm going to add glycerin in here in just a minute. I'm trying to get it all out. And then we're going to stir it in. Nice. It'll melt it. I learned my lesson with melting my super fats in the microwave. It melted my container. So I think I put it in there for too long. There went my spoon. Alright, let me get my glycerin. Alright, get my glycerin. So, in with our super fats and now the no, glycerin. Here, where's your bread? Where's your bread? Uh, go get it. All right, guys. So let's where stir this. And it's where? turning kind of green because of oh, the aloe. Okay. And then all of the additives we put in it, it's going to make it turn colors too. All right, so that's good and stirred in. We're going to knock down our sides and then what? let it cook and let it melt the super fat. And then while that is melting, I am going to get our um, mold and my colors ready. Right. All right. So that's going to melt, guys. We'll be right back. Guys, we're back. And I have taken my um, batter out of the crock pot and let it cool down a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and add our fragrance. It's teak wood and cardamom. Smells really, really, really good. I love this scent. It's a good unisex scent. My men like it and my women customers like it. And of course, it's anchored tapioca starch, like always. So let's get that mixed in. Right. Gosh, this smells good. I love this fragrance. And I got my color ready while we were waiting too. 
So once I get this mixed in we'll do our colors. We will get it in the mold and then do our um, in, do our uh, hanger swirl. And it's kind of a green color, but that's because of the aloe and the additives. Alright, and I need this to be um, pretty spot on with my, um, with the each one because I know exactly how much each one needs. Spoon, I'm going to pretty much go from lightest to darkest, and I want to mix it up. Are you making a whole process out? No, this is hot process. That looks pretty colors. Hey, Mom. Mom. What? What? So I'm going from the bottom up, because all the color is on the bottom. So I'm trying to get all the color up here. I don't want any color left on the bottom. I'm trying to get it all uniform. Alright, so there is our gold. Let's move to our blue. I'm getting it everywhere. See all that color coming up from the bottom? I'm trying to work fast here. Still got a lot of color on the bottom. Okay, there's our blue. brown it's a bronze brown and it's absolutely beautiful it's my favorite brown make sure it's still recording yeah okay. and that looks good and mixed all right let me get my mold let me kind of clean up my mess here We're going to do um, uh, a swirl in it anyway, so I am just going to throw it in here. Well, maybe if I can get the thing to open. I'm just kind of 
try to even it out a little bit. Let's do the green next. mixes up because we're going to do a mix anyway. Now I think I want the gold on top so let's do the blue. It's getting hard on me. I'm trying to work fast here. some blue and some green and some gold and some brown on top. Told you it'll get hard on you fast guys so you gotta work kind of quick. Alright one more tap. Awesome and I've made a mess. Okay, we got it in the mold, we got it swirled, we got our colors done, awesome. I'm not going to put any glitter on this because like I said, it's a unisex set. So, I'm going to go ahead, I put all my hot processes in the freezer. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the freezer and then we'll give it a cut in a couple hours, guys. So, stay tuned for the cut. Guys, we're back to cut teak wood and cardamom. And this is what it looks like and from the side. I think I did a pretty good job um, with the hanger tool. Sorry, excuse my voice. For some reason, I'm losing it again. It might be from yelling at my kids. But uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm trying my hardest to speak loud. But I'm losing it, so. All right, let's tighten our wire. I should have cut this last night. It's pretty hard. But, um... I didn't really have time and I went to bed pretty early. So here's an end piece. Well, that's kind of interesting. So there's what it looks like. I might have mixed it up a little bit too much. The colors look kind of muted, which is kind of strange. It 
It smells really good. I know that. It smells awesome. It's nice and hard. Uh, I wanted it to be hard because um, I want to take it with me this weekend for my show. So I kind of use steric acid and sodium lactate just to harden the bar up a little bit because it is hot process. So it really doesn't need to cure. It can be used right away. But I wanted it to harden up for me so I could uh, go ahead and take it with me. But I'm still going to give it a week to cure, though, still. So, within a week, it should be nice and hard. I really don't like that the colors are muted. They're not as bright and vivid as they usually are. Mmm, it smells really good. Getting a bunch of pieces coming off. Last piece. See, there's a bunch of them coming off the top there. And an end piece. Alright guys, so that was the making and cutting of teakwood and cardamom. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please do subscribe and hit the like button and comment. You know, I tell you I love it when you guys comment. It makes my day. Alright guys, so I got a plan for another soap and I need to take one out of the mold. So until the next video guys, bye bye.